Hello. Thank you to TU Delft and MBOM for this invitation to take part in an occasion that could have a profound impact on the place I love most in all the whole world, which is the little hilly district of Weinar. Thank you to Dr. Thomas Isaac for championing this initiative. We are at a moment in the Earth's story where a paradigmatic shift from an extractive mindset is needed. I believe that Weinard could be a nodal point in this shift. Of the handful of governments to appreciate right now is the government of Kerala. It set the global standard in healthcare in the midst of the worst ever pandemic with simple technologies and excellent communication between people, local government and the state. Can it also set the global standard in environmental health care with self-sufficient local economies and diverse nature, both of which are essential for carbon neutrality? Is it not interesting that Vyanard has been one of the last places to succumb to the community spread of the virus? Could this partly be because there is forest and fresh air and a dispersed population living still somewhat in close contact with nature? Can this be the message from Weinard to the world? In the aftermath of three consecutive years of climate related disasters, where it is clear that the suffering is largely provoked by man-made transformation of a biome in Kerala, can this same government and a fiercely participative peoples also evolve a just and sustainable nature human practice? Instead of a system requiring drawdown and overshoot of fragile resources, we have to evolve an economics based on earth care that the world has not seen. This will be essential to carbon neutrality. Let me help you imagine Weinard. Here is a small plateau surrounded by forest on all sides and also crisscrossed by forest, rippling with streams and generating mists and local rain. Estimates say that the land is 40% covered in forests, much of which is secondary and of which about 10% is primary. With high mountains clothed in grassland and montane forest, and valleys with bamboo breaks merging with moist deciduous forests, merging with rainforests, interspersed with wetlands. This is a plateau that is rich with thousands of plant species and myriad birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, insects, and microbiomes. Rich also with human diversity, nearly two dozen indigenous groups and other peoples. Here is a place where the hunter-gatherer lifestyle has not yet been fully replaced and the traditional home garden is still widespread, where people can be mentors into a new paradigm that places human-non-human -human symbiosis at the very center. Here are peoples who can show us how to garden back the biosphere, a fullness of diversity and co-mingling of species essential to any kind of ecological recovery which in turn could lead to carbon neutrality. What Weinard can share with the world is not just coffee, but the goodness that comes out of ancient communities of humans living within the family of nature. What is the role of biodiversity in carbon neutrality? We need to look at where and how carbon is stored. If in the trees, hundreds of different species in Weinard, what are the trees dependent on? If in the soil, what is the soil dependent on? If in bacteria and soil fungi, what are these dependent on? If in a mosaic of different habitats, what are they dependent on? Already we have four interconnected domains of carbon sequestration. Such interconnections are the basis of ecology. Banks of carbon build over millennia in complex cycles of growth, proliferation and also death but these banks are being emptied rashly in a few decades. How can this be countered? Through more vegetation, more forests. In Weinard, we see how nature is lashing back, but also forgiving and creative. If we can learn from her, we might see future habitats burgeoning in little time, plants of all kinds, native, exotic, herbaceous, shrubby, woody, working hard to grow, capture ca carbon, do the thing they have been doing through hundreds of millions of years. 
When plants are left alone, they sequester carbon. This is what they are brilliant at. Every leaf and branch and bowl and root is a master at carbon sequestration. A single life form over a large area, like a monoculture plantation, cannot achieve carbon neutrality because life is interdependent. But a complex of life forms perhaps could. Tubers, climbers, creepers, epiphytes, tall trees, small trees, annuals and perennials entering into complex arrangements with each other from which we harvest what we need, but not over extract for aggressive export. When we become dependent on export, we will draw down and overshoot. Carbon neutrality can be achieved at different scales from the level of a homestead and at the level of the landscape with no great effort other than a change in mindset and economic incentives and stopping of clear felling, the use of chemicals and intensive management and industry oriented practices. Carbon neutrality is also hampered when there is increase in importation of resources, technologies and systems that are fossil fuel dependent. So I would say that 60% forest is a minimum necessary to achieve anything close to carbon neutrality. And the more a coffee garden resembles a forest and behaves like a forest where humans can harvest many different things, then we can say that we are possibly on the right track. Sun coffee is not an option for this mission. When we reduce emissions and become carbon neutral, first, the health of the local people will improve. Second, the health of the local land base will improve. And when people and nature prosper, health can be gifted to others. Year round coolness, locally generated biomass and compost, sequestration by feral and rewilding landscapes at all levels of soil, biomass, woody vegetation, and an entire forested biome growing back. So to conclude, I just want to say that Vyanard has the starter material for what you could call a carbon neutral landscape. To improve this, there has to be a rewilding of Vyanard. We need to take the pressure off land and forest and also accede self-governance to communities and local governments to work out their own possibilities. To support these with economic opportunities can be done, for we are an, in an inventive species but the urgency of the moment is to unshackle the true genius of nature that lies with the diverse habitats and peoples of Vyanard. And the reward for this is more safety from a terrible future. Thank you.